Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn how to write algorithm to find sum and average of n numbers and draw flowchart for it. Here we have to find sum and average of n numbers using algorithm and flowchart. First we are going to write algorithm. Algorithm is a step by step process to solve a problem. Step 1. Algorithm is always start with start statement. So first we have to write start statement. Step 2. Here we have to find sum and average of n number, right? So here we have to read n number, number of integers. That is the read n. Here n represent number of n numbers. Step 3. In step 3, we have to declare the value of i and sum. In step 3, we have to declare i is equal to 0 and sum is equal to 0. Initially, i is equal to 0 and sum is equal to 0. In step 3, we have to declare i is equal to 0 and sum is equal to 0. Step 4. In step 4, we have to compare i with n. If i value less than n, if i value less than n, if this condition is true, then we have to execute step 4.1. If i less than n, if this condition is true, we have to execute step 4.1. Here, we have to read the value of a. Here, in step 4.1, we have to read the value of a. Next, 4.2. Here, we have to find sum using sum is equal to sum plus a. In step 4.2, we have to write sum is equal to sum is equal to sum plus a. Step 4.3. Here we have to increase the value of i, i by 1, i is equal to i plus 1. Next go to step number 4, again we have to re repeat the step number 4, go to step 4. See here, consider n is equal to 4, here we have to find sum of 4 numbers, declare i is equal to 0. And sum is equal to 0. Value of i and sum is equal to 0. Next we have to check if i value less than n. i value is 0, right? 0 less than 4. This is true, right? 0 less than 4. Then we have to execute step 4.1. Here we have to read the first number that is read a. a value is equal to, consider a value is equal to 4. Next we have to find sum value. Sum is equal to sum plus a. What is the value of sum? Initially it is 0, right? 0. 0 plus 4, 4. Our sum value become 4. Next we have to increase the value of i by 1. Initially i is equal to 0. 0 plus 1, it become 1. Next we have to go to step number 4 again. Here we, again we have to compare i by n. What is the value of i? 1, right? Here 1 less than 4. True, right? Then we have to execute 4.1. Read a value. Consider a is equal to 2. Next we have to find sum value. Sum is equal to sum plus a. Here our sum value is updated sum value is 4, right? 4 plus a value that is 2. It becomes 6. Next, we have to increase the i value by 1. i is equal to i plus 1. So, our i value is 1, right? 1 plus 1, it become 2. Next, again go to step number 4. Here, again we have to compare. If i value 
i value is 2 right 2 is less than 4 yes it is less than 4 right so then it will execute step 4.1 the IR again we have to read a value consider a value is equal to 8 then we have to find the sum value sum is equal to sum plus a sum value is updated sum value is 6 6 plus a 8 it become 14 again we have to increase the value of i by 1 i is equal to i plus 1 i value is 2 right 2 plus 1 it become 3 again go to step number 4 here we again we have to compare i by n here 3 less than n value is 4 right 4 here this condition is true right so again we have to execute step number 4.1 here we have to read the value of a consider a value is equal to 6 so next we have to find sum sum is equal to sum plus a sum value is 14 14 plus a value is 6 it becomes sum become 20 next time again we have to increase the i by 1 sorry i value is 3 right 3 plus 1 it become 4 again here we have to compare i less than 4 this is false right these two values are equal so here then it will execute else condition if this condition is true it will execute these steps if this if i by n if this condition is true it will execute these all step if it is else if it is else it will go to the step number five else case it go to the step number five here we have to find average is equal to sum by n here we have to find average value average is equal, is equal to sum is here 20 right 20 by our n value is yeah 4 right so average become 5 next step number 6 here we have to execute so sorry we have to print output here we have to print sum and average right so here we have to write sum comma average in step number 6 we have to print the output print sum comma average step 7 we have to stop the al so algorithm using stop statement so guys this is the algorithm to find sum and average of n numbers step 1 start step 2 read n step 3 declare i value is equal to 0 sum is equal to 0 step 4 if i value less than n then we have to execute this step step 4.1 read the value of a step 4.2 sum is equal to sum plus a step 4.3 we have to increase the i value by 1 that is i is equal to i plus 1 next to go to step number 4 again we have to execute these all step until this condition get false if this condition is false else we have to execute step number 5 here yeah, we have to execute average value avg represent average average is equal to sum divided by n in step number 6 we have to print the output print sum comma average step number 7 stop the algorithm using stop statement so guys this is the algorithm to find sum and average of n numbers next flowchart flowchart is a graphical representation of solved problem flowchart it is start with start statement it is writing within a oval shape start statement next we have to read input values input values is writing within a parallelogram shape within that 
we have to read value of n read n next we have to declare the value of sum and i right so declaration is done within a rectangular shape within that we have to write declare i is equal to 0 sum is equal to 0 next we have to compare i with n comparison is done within a diamond shape so we have to draw diamond shape within that we have to compare if i less than n if i less than n if this condition is true we have to read the value of a right input value c is writing within a parallelogram shape within that we have to read a value next we have to find some value sum is equal to sum plus a sum is equal to sum plus a next increase the value of i i by 1 right i is equal to i plus 1 next go to comparison here after i is equal to i plus 1 we have to compare i by n right if this condition is true it will execute these all parts these operations or process if this condition is false here we have to calculate the average right calculation is done within a rectangular shape within rectangular shape we have to find average average is equal to sum by n sum by n next we have to print the sum and average value right so here print sum comma average finally we have to stop the flow chart using stop statement stop statement is writing within a oval shape here yes, stop and start statement writing within a oval shape input values and output value writing within a parallelogram shape declaration and operations or process is writing within a rectangular shape comparison is done within a diamond shape here to find the sum and average of n numbers first we have to start with start statement it is writing within a oval shape next we have to read the input values that is read n input values is writing within a parallelogram shape next we have to declare the value of i and sum declaration is done within a rectangular shape next we have to compare if i value less than n comparison is done within a di diamond shape if this condition is true we have to read the value of a it, this is an input value right so it is writing within a parallelogram shape next to we have to find some value sum is equal to sum plus a process operation calculation is done within a rectangular shape next we have to increase the value of i by 1 that is i is equal to i plus 1 and connect this process to comparison that is i is equal to sorry i if i less than n compare it if this condition is false we have to calculate average value that is avg average is equal to sum by n next two, we have to print sum and average value output values is writing within a parallelogram shape next two, we have to stop the flowchart using stop statement so guys this is the flowchart to find sum and average of n numbers so if you like my video please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching Thank you.